Hello and welcome to this crochet tutorial where I will show you how to make this ball cap using cotton yarn. You'll see here that we have the corner stitch which is two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and straight double crochet in between these corners. We have five sections of these corners. Here is the band to add a little different color to the hat and a brim that holds its shape very well. There's no wires or anything in it. The yarns that I've used come from um, peaches and cream and um, lilies, uh, sugar and cream. So there's many choices of colors to choose from. You can make this in a solid color or you can make it in two-tone like I am right here. So come join me and let's make this ball cap from cotton yarn together. So the choice of colors that I'm gonna use for this one because it will be for somebody else you know, a lot of the crocheted things that I make, people like to have as gifts or tell me that they would like for me to sell it to them. <laughs> anyway, so here I have some cotton yarn from Premier. I purchased these at Michael's. And the color of this one is called Honeydew Splash. You only need one. And then I have Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. And this one is called Hot Green. It's kind of a lime green color and it matches quite well together. I'm going to use a large eye tapestry needle, a size G. 4.0 millimeter hook, pair of scissors. I thought I'd share with you my little amigurumi German Shepherd that I made. I thought about putting paint on him. See, he's got a little tongue, little mouth. So if you see him in future videos, and you're interested in showing uh, me showing you how to make this little guy, I'll be more than happy to. The only thing <laughs> is his eyes is super big. <laughs> Dealing with um, the craft stores are not selling a lot of the animal eyes like they used to. But I still like them. Really cute. So I'm going to begin with the variegated yarn. And being that it's such a small skein, usually I start from the center, but I'm gonna go ahead and start from the outside. So we're gonna start with a magic circle. Make yourself have about a six inch tail for weaving in purposes. Let's go ahead and wrap it around. Do like a chain stitch or a slip stitch to make that circle. Start with a long chain and chain one. So into our circle, let's go ahead and place 10 half double crochets. I have three, continue till you have 10. So let's pull our ring closed. Okay, so right here we have our long chain. We're going to skip that. And into that first half double crochet, I'm gonna slip stitch this ring closed. 
do not cut this yarn. We're going to weave it in after we get a few rows on. Chain two. And in the same stitch that we slip stitched, one double crochet. Chain one, and in the same space, two double crochets. Chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, chain one skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we're going to do the same thing two double crochet chain one two double crochet okay we've done three of them so far I'm going to go ahead and let you do the last two. Remember to chain one in between these um, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. I'm going to call them corners. They're more of a cluster. But go ahead and do the next two. Skip, place one, skip, place one, and I'll show you how to finish this row. So at the top of the chain, Let's go ahead and slip stitch. Slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the chain one space, single crochet. And chain two. So in our chain one space, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Chain one. In the space between the corner here and the next corner, place two double crochet. chain one. In the next chain one, this is our corner, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And chain one. In our next chain one space, two double crochet. Chain one. Okay, so we're going to continue making a corner and a single section of two double crochets between the corners as we continue around. Okay, so we just completed a corner. The next chain one, two double crochets. I'm going to encourage you to do the next two sections of these corners here on your own. So you've got the two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and then into the next chain one, two double crochet. And then we'll have this last section to do. Go ahead and do those, and I'll meet you here at the end of the row. So 
So to complete this row, at the top of the chain two, we're going to slip stitch the row closed. Slip stitch into the next double crochet, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain two. This does count as a double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, two, double crochet in the same space. Okay, so now we're going to keep doing our increases. So what we're going to do here, we're going to skip these two corners and into the chain one space, two double crochet. This is our increase between the two double crochets, one double crochet. And in the chain one space, two double crochet. All right, so we've increased this row from two to one, two, three, four, five, okay? In our next chain one space, we're gonna do our corner, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, so we're going to continue this around. So let me show you one more time. In the first chain one space, two double crochet. In the two, go in between, one double crochet. In the next chain one space, two double crochet. And in our corner, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, go ahead and continue around. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Fun, isn't this? <laughs> so at the top of the chain two, let's slip stitch this row closed. Slip stitch into the next double crochet, single crochet into the chain one space, chain two. All right, let's complete our corner. One double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, we're going to skip these two. This is part of our corner. We're going to come into the next stitch and place two double crochet. Okay, we're going to place three singles, one, two, three. All right, and in that last double crochet, two double crochet. Okay. And then here we are at our corner. So we're going to skip these two and into the chain one space, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. All 
Okay, so we had a double on this side, a double on this side, we had one in the middle. We have a double on this side, three singles, and a double on the end. Corner and corner. Okay. So let's continue on around. Skip these two. That's part of your corner. Into the next stitch, two double crochet. Three singles, one, two, and three, and two double crochet in the next stitch. And here we are at our corner again. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and continue around till you get to the end of this row. Okay? And I think you're going to start seeing a pattern here. We have one, three, and I think you already know what's going to happen on the next row. Next row we'll have five singles with the, the two double crochet on the end. So go ahead and let's finish this right here. You got three singles, and then we'll start on the next row. All right, it's getting bigger. <laughs> All right, so at the top of the chain two, let's slip stitch, close. Okay, slip stitch into the next double crochet and single crochet into the chain one. Chain two. Let's complete our corner again. One, double crochet, chain one, two, double crochet. skip the two for the corner and in the next stitch two double crochet okay so when you look at this now here is going to be our last for two double crochet and in the middle we're going to have five so we started off with uh, one we move to three singles. Now this row will have five singles. Like I said, it's going to start kicking in <laughs> and it'll be a pretty simple building um, on the rows here. So here's one, two, three, four, and five singles. And then the next one gets two double crochet. And then into our corner, our chain one space. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, I think you've got the idea here, so I'm going to let you continue on around. Remember to start off with two double crochet after skipping your corner here. Five singles, two double crochet, and then into your corner again. So continue around, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Ruff, ruff! Mom, are you going to make a hat for me too? Ruff, ruff! <laughs> yeah, I had to add that in there. Who knows? I might add something to them.
All right, that went by pretty quick. <laughs> so we're gonna um, end the row the same way. Slip stitch in the top of the chain two. Slip stitch in the next double crochet. Single crochet into the chain one. And chain two. Let's do our corner. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. I mean two double crochet. <laughs> All right, so on this row, we're going to be doing the same thing that we've been doing, except the increase will be of seven singles. So let's skip the two and in the next stitch, two double crochet, seven singles across, and in the last one, two double crochet. Okay, and here's number seven, and then two double crochet. Okay, we're gonna skip our two double crochet, and in the chain one space, we're gonna do our corner. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. So I'm gonna encourage you to continue around and Remember this row, you'll add seven singles. Okay, so go all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the row where we will start to form the sides of our hat. Okay, so we're gonna finish this row the same way. Slip stitch into the top of the chain two slip stitch into the next double crochet and slips I mean single crochet into the chain one space and chain two let's continue on with our corner one double crochet chain one two double crochet now before we move on don't get too excited <laughs> All right, this is going to start working down the sides. So I'd like for you to look at this. You need to skip these two right here and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven double crochets across here. So we're going to put one in each one across. We will not start with two. We will not end with two. It's going to be one all the way across. And then we'll place in our corner at our chain one of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so skip these two one double crochet for each stitch across here of the 11 I have one more and then we go right into our corner here two double crochet chain one two double crochet okay. 
Now you can see how it's starting to curl up already. Okay, that's doing it on its own because we're not increasing. And that's what it's going to start doing. It's going to start cupping up on you, which is okay, because that'll bring down the sides of the hat. So I'd like for you to continue on with 11 singles, the corner, 11 singles, and so on. When you get to the end of the row, remember to slip stitch in the top of the chain two, slip stitch into the first double crochet, single crochet, and chain two. And this row that we've done here, we will do for a total of five rows. So this here is row one, so we're going to have two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you continue on with that. When we get to the end of the five rows, I will meet you and then we will change colors and continue on. Please pause your video. This will take a few minutes. So as we can see, it's cupped pretty nicely, huh? Now to, to verify the count, you see here how we have two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so that was the last row. And here we have one. So we have one, two, three, four, five rows. Okay, so at the end of this row, we're gonna go ahead and change our color. Now, uh, changing the color can be optional for you if you prefer not to. Um, that's quite all right. All right, so I slip stitched into that first double crochet. Let's go ahead and cut our yarn. And then I'm going to bring out my second color here. And as I said before, I'm pulling from the outside of the skein. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a single crochet. So I'm going to take my hook and go through the chain one space. I'm going to leave a nice little tail for the new color. Bring it up. Drop the tail of the new color. And complete that single crochet. Okay, and then chain two. And then we're going to go over the tails as well as create our corner. So one double crochet, and be sure to pick up your tails. This will help lock all those colors in. Chain one and two more in the same space. Okay, so here we have our color change. I need to pull some more out. Now as we go across, we're going to continue with the 11 single uh, double crochets. We're going to do that for a total of two rows using the new color. If you're continuing on with the same color, just add two more rows. And But we want to make sure that if you do the color change that you pick up the tails as you go across that'll keep you from having to weave it in so skip the first two double crochet in the first one and continue across with 11 double crochets and then onto your corner as well so do this row or this color change for two rows and then um, I'll tell you what to do next. So please pause your video and see you in just a minute. So I want to bring to your attention my other hat that I've created. Here you'll see I have three rows of the double crochet. I only encourage you to do two. Now, if you do three rows, it'll help cover your ears if this is how you choose to wear your hat. 
If you just do the two, then it'll come to the top of your ears. Okay, because we're also going to be doing two rows of single crochet. So it technically won't, if you add the two rows of single crochet, won't really cover your ears, but I'm just want I want to bring this to your attention. So if you want it to cover your ears, add one more row of double crochet. If not, let's go ahead and continue on. You'll see how we have our nice cupping. And we'll start working on our first row of single crochet. I brought the camera up a little bit closer so that you can see what we're going to do. Now I have slip stitched into the top of the chain two to close uh, the row off. So we're going to chain one. And in that same stitch, one single crochet. So when we do come to the end of the row, we'll slip stitch into that. Okay, in our next stitch, single crochet, the chain one, we're going to skip. We're just going to skip it and single crochet into the next stitch. That'll help pull it together and that'll take the little bump out, make it more smooth. Then single crochet in every stitch up to the chain one again. When you get to that chain one, go ahead and just skip over it and continue around. Okay, so here's our other chain one. We'll do a single crochet over the top of the double crochet, skip the chain one, and double crochet into that next stitch. So go ahead and do that all the way around, and I'll meet you back here at the beginning of the single crochet row. All right, so I've slip stitched into the first single crochet. Now to prevent us having to cut and rejoin our yarn, I'm going to have you turn your hat around. I'm right handed, so I'm going to go this way. And I would like for you to slip stitch till we get to that fourth double crochet, which would be right here. So just slip stitch one, two, three, and four. Make them loose. So that means to make it loose, you wanna make that loop right here on your hook, just a little bit bigger. Cause sometimes when we do slip stitches, we have a tendency to make them a little bit tighter. We don't wanna do that. One, two, three. Okay, so I got three. Okay, so we're gonna turn it back around. All right, one, two, three, four. Yep, we're in the right spot. So right here. No, wait, <laughs> here's a blooper for me, right? Let's do one more. Okay, now it's turn around. All right, so what we're going to do now is make sure you got to the fourth one right here. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to do front post single crochets. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that, right? <laughs> But this will help the brim start to do like a 90 degree angle from the hat. So in the first one, single crochet, front post single crochet. We'll do that to three of them. In the next, single crochet two this will be our increase just for the brim one and two okay 
So here's our next one. Three single front post single crochets two three and then two front post single crochets on that next stitch. Okay, I would like for you to repeat across until you, and you'll be able to see them, until you have six of these two front post single crochets, you'll see like a little hump. And you'll have three and a little hump. So once you have six of those, you'll do three extra singles. When you get that far, you should be right here at the fourth one on the other side of this corner right here. So what we're doing is we're putting the brim right here in the center between those two corners. So go ahead and go across and I'll meet you right here. Okay, so I have, here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you notice how we have three on either side of those two single cro front post single crochets. Okay, let's move on to row two of the brim. Okay, so let's chain one and turn our work. Here you'll see that would be normally our first stitch right here. So we're going to skip that and single crochet into the next stitch. Let's single crochet into the next seven stitches. There's four, five, six, and seven. Two single crochets in the next stitch. Then single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So here's one and two. Continue until you got 13. After the 13, two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, single crochet in the next seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the last stitch of the row. Chain one and turn our work. This is what we have so far. Let's start row three. So we're going to skip this first stitch and single crochet into the next. We're going to single crochet across every stitch until you get to within the last two stitches. You're going to skip the first of the last two and then single crochet into that last stitch. Chain one and then turn and we'll be ready then for row four. 
All right, so I haven't completed this row yet, but I wanted to give you a stitch count from the very first one that we put in here after skipping the first stitch. We have 30 single crochets all the way across the row. At the last two, I'm gonna skip the next one and single crochet into the last one, and that'll give us 31 single crochets for this row. So for row four, skip this first stitch here, single crochet into the next. single crochet into the next four stitches two single crochet into the next stitch single crochet over the next 17 stitches. Please pause your video. I'll meet you after you've done 17 single crochets. After the 17, two single crochet in the next stitch, four single crochet. skip the second to the last stitch and single crochet into the last stitch chain one and turn your work For row five, skip the first single crochet into the second, single crochet in the next seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet over the next 11 stitches. Please pause your video. At the end of the 11 stitches, single crochets, two single crochet in the next stitch, seven single crochet, three, four, five, six, and seven skip the next stitch and single crochet into the last stitch. Chain one and turn your work. We're getting a nice little shape. Okay, for row six, skip our first single crochet in the second. We're going to just single crochet all the way across, skip the second to the last, and single crochet into the last. If you would like to wait a second, I'll tell you how many we will have before the very last stitch. Including the very first one after the skipped one, I have 28 single crochet 
we're going to skip this one so that'll make it 29 single crochets in this row chain one and turn your work now we're ready for row seven skip the first single crochet into the second single crochet into the next four stitches three and four two single crochet in the next stitch single crochet across 15 stitches and I'll meet you there please pause your video So for the last part of row seven, we've done our 15. Let's do two in the next. Uh, four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna skip this one and single crochet into the last one chain one and let's turn our work nice looking brim so far <laughs> okay so this starts row eight so we're going to skip the first single crochet into the next single crochet over the next 12 stitches after the 12 stitches two single crochet into the next stitch then 12 single crochets across till you come within the last two of the row Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the last stitch of the row. Chain one and turn your work. This will start row nine. Skip the first single crochet into the second. Single crochet over the next seven stitches. three, four, five, six, and seven. Two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then single crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next stitch and into the last one, single crochet. Chain one and turn. This will be our last row. Okay, so we're going to skip this first one. We're going to do a decrease. So insert, pull up a loop, 
and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So we'll have three loops on our hook, yarn over through all three. We're going to single crochet across I'm going to tell you how many, so please pause your video. I completed 21 single crochets since the decrease. So after the 21, we're going to decrease. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the last. And this completes the brim. So go ahead and cut a little bit of length on it and pull it through. We have us a nice little brim. We're not yet done, so go ahead and finish this. I know I kind of caught you off a little early. And then we got two rows and then we'll be complete with our hat. So the beginning and ending of this row is going to be like around the center back of the hat. You'll see here that one of our corners will be considered the center back. So let's place a slip knot on our hook and you can have a short tail because we're going to go ahead and crochet over that anyway. And we're going to begin with a standing single crochet. So I'm going to go like right above the center of that uh, corner, pull up a loop, drag my tail over, and complete a single crochet. Then crocheting over the tail, we're going to do one single crochet per stitch until we get close to the brim. I would like for you to, to stop two stitches, leave those empty, and so you want to stop at the third one. So I'll meet you right there. So we stopped the two stitches before the brim. Okay, so we're going to do a decrease. This will help pull the brim closer and back as well. Whoops, I wrapped it around. <laughs> okay, we're doing a decrease single crochet. So pull up one loop, pull up the second loop, and then pull through all three. Okay, so our first row was um, the front post <clears throat> excuse me, the front post single crochets. So we're going to place one single crochet there. And then every row, we're going to place a single crochet. So we had a total of 10 rows. So follow across and you'll be able to see where you need to place your single crochet. Okay, so here's the front side. And, and then the next row is here's the back side. Okay, so continue all the way down and I'll meet you here at the corner. If you end up putting more than 10 in here, Try to make it like 11 or 12, not to do too many. What you put in on this side, you're also going to want to put in on the other side. All right, so I'm going to confess. I'm going to end up having to put 11 in here. <laughs> okay, so here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. <laughs> It happens. So on our next one, 
This will be 11. But we're going to place one, and then we're going to place one more. So here we got our knot from the end of our row for the brim. So we're going to try and make it so that your yarn goes over to the other side of that knot, and that'll help pull it around. You see? So that was one in there. Then we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch across. This will be across the front top of the brim. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you right here. Whoops, was out of camera range, wasn't I? So go across, meet you right here, where we're going to put two, and then work the same number of stitches down, where we will also do our decrease and go around. All right, so I placed my last single crochet into the last stitch of that row. So now I want to add one more for the angle going down. So that's considered one. Now, like I did on the other side, I, I had to have 11. So this one made 11. So we're going to do 10 down here, remembering that last one will be around the front post single crochet. So I want you to take your time because I know the camera is not going to show everything 100% as we figure out which one of these gets. So take your time and count it down and you'll be able to guide across, place your single crochet. Guide across and place your single crochet. So go ahead and you're going to add 10 down here. I'll meet you at the bottom of the brim. Oh, that took a little finagling, didn't it? <laughs> All right, so now this stitch right here already has our stitching in it. So we're going to go into these two stitches right here to do our decrease. So we're going to do a front post, I mean a single crochet decrease. then single crochet in each stitch till you meet at the beginning of this row which will be right here so I'll meet you there we have one more row left so of course we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet now this row is probably going to be the easiest row, but if you don't make your loop on your hook a little bit larger, it can become the most difficult row. <laughs> and we don't want that. So in order to add a little uh, design to the edge and to help with the stiffness of our brim, we're going to slip stitch in each stitch around. So just increase the size of your, of your loop on your hook as if it was the same size as the single crochet that you have just made. If it comes out a little bit smaller, it's going to make it so that it'll be tight when you actually place this on your head. So if you notice that your slit, your stitch from the previous row is a little bit longer, you can always stretch it like that and say, oh, I need to add a little bit more to the loop on my hook. Okay, so take your time and let's slip stitch in each one around. Now remember too, you don't want to make it too loose because then it won't look balanced and look correct. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I'll show you how to finish it so it'll all blend in and have a seamless look. Mm, I made it back. <laughs> 
So what we're going to do is place like a eight inch tail. Let's go ahead and cut our yarn and then pull it through. So the yarn comes up this side here. Now some people use their crochet hook. I prefer to use my yarn needle. All right, so we're going to go through the chain, the upper chain, and then come back around and go down through that hole. It looks like it's all blended right in. Then take our yarn, let's go under some stitches here. Go over one, let's go across, pick up some more stitches, go over one, rule of thumb is usually three times is good enough, so I'm going to come back and go around one and then pull it through. And we have completed our hat. So what do you think? Turn out nice? I think so. I know, I'll have to put it on to show you what it looks like. So what do you think? <laughs> Kinda cute, huh? I like your hat. Well, I like yours too. <laughs> so, thanks for being with me today as we made our hats together. So, come back, join me for another crochet video, and no telling what we'll have, have fun making. If you have some suggestions, place a comment in the box below. And I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video. And maybe share it with somebody else who might like to have a ball cap. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>